the easy paleo, gluten, and dairy-free cooking show with me. I'm JJ Clazain. Eating right and exercising and still not getting the results you want? Did you know there are seven factors that create weight loss resistance? Come on over to fit2love.tv forward slash quiz and take the quiz and find out what factor might be sabotaging you. Today's show, five minute omelet. I hear people tell me all the time, I don't have time for breakfast. It's too, it takes too long to make eggs. And I've been making this omelet forever. So I wanted to show you that it only takes five minutes. We timed it. So you're gonna start off with your pan on your stove top. I'm gonna use a spray olive oil, but you can use butter. You can use whatever kind of oil that you want or whatever kind of fat. So I'm gonna start off by spraying the pan first. Then I'm gonna turn it up to a medium, medium high to get the pan hot. Then I'm gonna take my two free range organic eggs, crack them, put them in the bowl. And then I'm gonna beat them. As the pan is warming up and I'm beating my eggs and I'm making sure it's evenly beaten, I'm not adding anything else to this. I'm pouring it into the pan. Once I get all my egg mixture in the pan, I am putting the lid on the pan. Now, while that is cooking, I'm gonna prep that this omelet is gonna go on a nice, beautiful green bed of arugula. I love arugula, but you don't have to use it. You can use mixed greens, spring greens, romaine, spinach. You can use whatever you choose, kale if you'd like, but I really love getting an arugula because it's got that peppery flavor, but it's really good for detoxing. It has that sulfur sort of bitter flavor, and there's not a lot of things in our diets, at least mine, that is a lot of bitter. So this is how I get bitter into my diet not to mention greens. So I'm gonna take my bowl, I'm gonna put my organic arugula, put however you, we're gonna leave that, because my husband calls me the dirt dirt chef, you know, from the Muppets, because I'm not the cleanest, most anal retentive person when it comes to cooking. I clean up afterwards, but I'm not all stiff and not fun. I'm a little messy, so. But we're not gonna name me the messy chef because that's not fun. So I'm gonna put my bed of greens into my bowl getting ready for my omelet. And again, while that's cooking, it's gonna take about three minutes, three and a half minutes on a medium to medium high for it to sort of solidify before we flip it over. When we flip it over though, I'm going to use a cheese, a non-dairy cheese, and my favorite non-dairy cheese brand to use with eggs, which I've already introduced you to on the very first Tasty Tuesday, which was the gluten dairy-free egg bake, which is Daya cheese. And the flavors that I like best are the mozzarella and the cheddar. For this omelet, I'm gonna use the mozzarella because I prefer that over this, but um, they make, all kinds of companies make gluten-free and dairy-free mac and cheeses, and this is what they use in it because of the color and the taste. So I think we're almost done with our eggs. Because the pan was already warm, it might have been less than five minutes. Now I use a nice big spatula. For omelets, that's key so that it doesn't break. So you want to get in there and flip it. Now to make it super fast, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna reduce the heat, but if you have a few more minutes to grab your drink in the morning or, or whatever else you're doing in the kitchen, turn it off. So I'm gonna take a handful of my day of cheese and put it on one side of the omelet. And then you're gonna take and fold it over. After you fold it over, depending on the timing, if it's less than five minutes, you can uh, turn the burner off, it'll be hot enough, and then just stick the lid back on so the cheese melts. After a few, after less than a minute, you're basically gonna take and flip it and put the lid back on. And again, you can be grabbing your utensils and your um, your bowl of greens. I also, on top of this, use a really yummy chili oil. That's sort of my dressing. I've got the salt from the cheese, and now I'm gonna add this chili oil that I may show you how to make. I don't know, it's sort of a secret recipe that I got from Chef Jose at Tresoldi in Chicago. This summer when I was there, we went gaga over this, over this oil. It's so amazing. If you like spicy things, it's divine. And so I'll probably share it with you, but. Um, I drizzle this all over my omelet and my arugula, and there's my really healthy breakfast.
inspired to play in the kitchen? Want even more recipes to try right now? Come on over to fit2love.tv and check out our Tasty Tuesdays.